The whole conference is about abundant life. Um, and so, of course, I think you know where I'm going to turn first, and that's John chapter 10. Verse 10, but um, I want to um, go back to verse 2. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then Jesus said unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. The thief cometh not but to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. I don't know if you've... Um, ever been to sheepdog trials um, and seen the sheepdog uh, at the command of the shepherd having to gather all the sheep and make them come and enter into a narrow area so that they can go into a pen. And you can bet your bottom dollar that one or two of these sheep <laughs> will not get herded into the narrow pen and the, the shepherd has to do his whistles and or whatever he does and the dog goes off round again and he gets the two, the two sheep or three sheep that wouldn't go through the small enclosure and he gets them and he shoves them in there and, he, and, and he's working so hard to get these sheep into this narrow opening into the pen. And the wonderful thing is that Jesus is the shepherd. And, if, and he said, I'm the door as well. So Jesus is the door to the pen. And if you can imagine, he's also the shepherd. And what struck me is it's just so wonderful that Jesus goes looking for the sheep. Amen? And he never loses one. They all get into the pen. Amen? And uh, so that really struck me as just so like our God. So he said he's the door. And the other wonderful thing about him saying he's the door, apparently in Israel and those countries, um, when they gather the sheep in at night, they put them in a pen and the shepherd lies across the door of the pen so that no animal, fierce wild animal or anyone can get in and steal the sheep. So Jesus said, I am the door. He lies there and he won't let anyone get us. No thief can steal kill or destroy because Jesus is in the door of the pen. Amen? Isn't that wonderful? He looks after us. He really does. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers and the sheep did not hear them. And that's another wonderful thing. Anyone, however far they are from God, however much they don't think they know him, however much it, they aren't really looking for him, but he's looking for them, as soon as they hear his voice, 
They recognize it. They know it's his. They, could nev they might never have heard it before, but they know it's his voice. We have a dear man who belongs to this congregation, and he's at this moment residing in a rehabilitation center because he had the most horrendous stroke. Uh, Stan is his name, and he's, he's a dear. Peter and Carolyn went to see him today, and uh, he's got such a sense of humor. Um, but he was saying that he had this terrible stroke. He was body was all twisted up, and uh, he was thinking that it would be best to die. He'd rather leave and go to be with the Lord than to be like that. And he said, all of a sudden, Jesus came to my bedside and he spoke with me. And from that moment on, his face got less twisted. He began to, and he began to have hope <coughs> that he would live again. And now... He, they, he, goes for re, he goes into the gym and he has to work out in the gym. And they say he's so determined um, to, to get better. They, were, they say to him, no, Stan, you've got to stop. You've got to stop. No, he says, let's go some more. <laughs> Bless him. But he's so different from everybody else in the place because most of them have given up. They've given up. But Stan, no, he's still fighting. Everyone, everyone will recognize the voice of Jesus. No matter how far you are from him, you'll recognize his voice. He says, my sheep know my voice. If you're one of his, you'll recognize his voice. <clears throat> and others you will not hear. I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. He'll feed us. He'll take care of us. He'll speak with us. He'll do everything that we need. Others came to steal and kill and destroy, but Jesus is the exact opposite. He not only finds us, he looks after us, he feeds us, and then he gives us life and life more abundantly.